Hello, welcome to Clickshare.com. Today I'll talk about attribute expressions and the chart expressions tab. I had discovered these options accidentally and these options are hidden and may not be visible for the first time. You can see these options only when you click on the plus sign in front of the expression. And we have seven different attributes and some of them are only applicable to specific chart types. So I'll walk you through with all the seven attributes and also show you the demo on how to use them. So let's get started. So the seven attributes are background color, text color, text format, pie pop-out, bar offset, line style, and show value. Like I said, some of them are only applicable to specific charts and some of them are applicable to all the chart objects. So let's get started. So let's look at background color first. You can use this option to define an attribute expression for calculating the basic plot color of the data point. So what it means is, let's say that you have a bar chart and you wanted to highlight the minimum or the maximum value and you wanted to change the color of the bar for these values. So you can use this attribute and you have to write an expression then you can change the color for that specific bar instead of across the chart. So the expression should return a valid color. So if it does not return a valid color, it will default to black color. That's a fair bit understanding. And uh, I would also recommend you to look at color functions within ClickView if you're not familiar. There are loads of co color functions like red, green, blue, what I like most is click tech blue and click tech green. And I'm not sure if, if we have click tech green, but uh, we have click tech blue and click tech gray. So I'll quickly jump into click view and show you the demo on how to do that, how to use this uh, attribute. So I have a simple line chart and we are just counting the customers here and trying to see uh, counting the customers based on their educational qualifications. So I'll change this to probably bar chart. So uh, let's go back and change this to bar chart. Okay. And now I come back to the expressions tab and then click on this plus sign. And you have the seven properties or the attributes here. So the first one, I'm going to change it. So Instead of calculating it for the highest and the lowest value, I'm going to do that for a specific dimension value. So education is my dimension. Education equals to, let's say that we wanted to highlight the bachelors. Okay, and I wanted to give it a red color. And green color. So if I apply this, so you can see that. So this is highlighted in red. And so this expression evaluated where bachelors equals to true and rest all of them are false. So this is in red color and rest all of them in green color. Instead of just changing the colors randomly, you can actually write conditions to check if it's the highest or lowest value or if it's above a specific percentage, then you can change the value. So you can, you can pretty much be creative and write uh, whatever expression you wanted to. So let's jump back to PowerPoint again. Let's look at the next one. Okay, text color is very similar to background color. So this is same as background color, but instead of changing it on the bar itself, if you wanted to change the text color, you can use this attribute to change the text color. So let's look at that. Let me go back to click view again. And uh, let me add value on data points property so that we'll see the value values here. Okay, so we see them in black color, that's a default color. And now uh, let's add stuff again. I wanted to highlight. So if education equals to bachelor's, 
then probably let's use click tech green or click tech blue okay i like this color and then uh let's say probably yellow yeah we have yellow and close it there we go so it's not evident because yeah uh, yellow color is very dull probably not the right choice so let me go back and change it to something else so that you can see the stuff mm, probably green yeah green yeah so you can see the green color so yeah this works same as the background color text color is applicable to all the objects within click view so let's say if i've changed the object type i mean the chart object type let's say if i change this to a straight table so you can see background color is applied to the actual cell and the text color is applied to the actual cell value itself so the green on green color is not visible that's the reason why you're not looking at that stuff but if i change this to white hopefully you should see the yeah you can see the yeah, numbers that's good that's great so let me go back and let, before that let me change this to bar chart yeah okay and uh, let me go back to powerpoint again so that's about text color and uh, jumping on now we also have text format so we can use this option to define the text format for chart objects. The expression string should return the format type and we can use the basic HTML standard formatting, but you need the single quotes around your tag itself. So which B defines bold and I defines italic and U defines underline. And not just bold, italic and underline, you can also have uh, your h1 to h6 so that is header 1 to header 6 type of tags so if you're familiar with header tags you will understand it but it's it's pretty straightforward i'll i'll show it to you how to use it so let's jump back to click view so let me go back to expressions and let me add this property so let's say that i wanted to uh, let me change this color instead of white i'll change this to black yeah that should be fine yeah and this to be red okay and now let's change and let's make this bold so if i apply you'll see the text is bold now so if you wanted to make it italic you can uh, do it in two ways either you can specify i like this and it will make it bold or italic sorry bold and italic not or italic sorry and you can also do like this and if you wanted to make this underlined so you can see i'll move this so that you can see the stuff yeah and now let's say that you wanted to make this h one so you see the font size is increased and if i change that to h6 it'll become small there we go so it's pretty much supports the html standard formatting for text so let's jump back to powerpoint again to see the next one okay this is interesting pie pop out so let's say that you wanted to break down the pie chart and uh, you can use this property and like you can guess it only works for pie chart it doesn't work for any other charts so it will disregard this property if you set up a value or an expression for this property or the attribute and if you change the chart type it will completely disregard that so let's look at that on what I mean by pie pop out. So let me quickly change this to pie chart. Hmm, I like them. Who doesn't like pie chart? I like them very much. Okay, let's go back and 
So here it's pretty simple. If you wanted to explode them or break them, no, I don't know what you wanted to call it, explode or break. I would call it explode. So if I wanted to explode the pie chart, all I'll do is I'll just type one. And then, yeah, it explodes it. Pretty easy, isn't it? And if you wanted to change it back, zero. So you can give a static value here, like one or zero, or you can control the conditions based on some other value. So that's, you can write an expression as well. It doesn't have to be a static value. So, and let me also show you some stuff here about styles. So within pie charts, you have many options here. So if I change this to donut chart, it, it works fine. That's not a problem. But however, if I change this to 3D chart, it will not work because this attribute is not applicable for 3D charts. So yeah, that's very important to remember. And if I change this to one more 3D chart type, no, it doesn't work. I personally prefer to keep it uh, regular pie charts than using 3D charts. This looks good. Okay, cool. So let's jump back uh, to PowerPoint again. Let's look at the next one. Bar offset. Again, this is pretty straightforward. And if you wanted to control the offset of a bar chart, you can use this option. And like I, uh, like you can guess, uh, it's only applicable to the bar chart and it does not work for other charts. So let's go back and see what, what it means by bar offset. So let's jump back to click view and let me change this to bar chart. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, let's go to expressions. So, okay, and the bar offset now, uh, if, we, if I just type thousand, so my bar chart actually starts from thousand instead of zero. So again, this can be an expression. It doesn't need to be a static value. You can do some clever stuff by using bar offset property or the attribute. I'm going to show some of this stuff in, in future videos. So keep an eye on them. Okay, and let's jump back to PowerPoint again. Okay, let's look at the next one, which is line style. This is one of my favorite attributes. So we can use this option only on line chart, com combo chart, and the radar chart. We can use tags to control the formatting of line style and the width. We need to use two tags. That is W stands for width and N is a real number, which is uh, the range between 0 0.5 to 8. And we can also use the S, where S stands for style and N is a value uh, between one and four. And where N defines within style one as in continuous line chart, which is a regular line chart, and two as in dashed line chart, and three as in dotted, and four as in dashed or dotted line chart. So this is a sample expression. So if I copy this over, and let's jump back to click view. And let me change this to line chart. Okay, we have the line chart. And let me go back and add line style. There we go. So you can see that. And if I change this to S4, so you can see dashed and dotted type of line. And if I change this to H, yeah, very big looks ugly probably i'll keep it 0.5 yeah looks too small probably one yeah this looks much better okay so that's you can control this again this can be derived by an expression it doesn't need to be a static value it's pretty cool so let's click on okay and let's go back uh, to powerpoint Okay, this is the last one and this is show value. We can use this option only on bar chart, line chart and combo chart. We can write the expression to show the values on one or more dimensions. If the value on data points property is enabled, then click view will disregard the show value expression. So if there is already a check mark, 
uh, for value on data points, you will not be able to use this attribute. So click view will disregard it. So let's jump back to click view and let's look at an example on how to use the show value attribute. Okay, so we have a line chart and we just wanted to see the values only for the highest dimension value. So which is bachelor's, yes, it is bachelor's. So, and we wanted, we don't want to see any values for rest of them. So how do we do that? So we have to go back to properties. Okay. So I have a simple expression here. I'll explain you what it means. So this just calculates the total customer key and then it ranks. And if it's the first rank, it shows up the count or else it doesn't show up. So that's a simple expression with an if statement. And I'll enable this and I'll also make sure that I'll keep a symbol for this. So I'll probably just leave it to auto. And most important thing is I have to disable the value on data points. So I've disabled that. I'll come back here and then click on the plus sign. And here I'm going to use the same expression. So this will be evaluated. So if I click on okay, click on okay. So there we go. So we, we are only looking at the highest value. So I hope this was helpful and uh, these properties are really, really useful uh, to control the formatting within ClickView and uh, within the chart objects itself. So thank you for watching. Have a good day.